Welcome back to PMTV UK, the home of professional music technology on YouTube. I'm Sam. And I'm Meg. And this is part two of our top 10 things to look for. Or not to look Shut for. Shut up, Meg. As I was saying, this is our top 10 things to look for when buying an acoustic guitar. I just want to apologise for part one. Some of the same things that weren't entirely factually correct. But since then, Meg's gone away. She's had a little bit of a think about her life. So hopefully we can pick it up for part two. Let's crack on with the video. Number six, make sure an acoustic guitar has poor tuning stability. Everyone plays in tune, so what's cool about that? You need those out of tune chords to really help you stand out from the crowd. So why play a boring D major when you could be playing a Q sharp minor with added 11th harmonical? And if you do really need to play in tune, I wouldn't bother tuning up. As mentioned earlier, a sound engineer can always fix it in the mix. Seriously, Sam, what kind of music do you listen to? This is complete nonsense. Of course you want your guitar to stay in tune. Firstly, always make sure that the tuning machine heads on a guitar are good quality and aren't loose, worn or slipping. You may find that brand new strings take a little while to bed in and hold their tuning, but you can always give them a little stretch after fitting to speed this up. Next up, you want to make sure that the guitar stays in tune with itself as you play a chord moving up the neck. This is called the intonation. An easy way to check for accurate intonation is to play a harmonic at the 12th fret and then play the string fretted at the same place. Both notes should be exactly the same tuning. If the fretted note is out of tune with the harmonic note, then the guitar's intonation is out. On an electric guitar, this can usually be adjusted because they have movable saddles, but on an acoustic it's not very easy to adjust at all. Inaccurate intonation means that the guitar will sound more out of tune depending on different chords that you play, even if the open strings are reading perfectly in tune on a tuner. And don't listen to what Sam said, no amount of recording studio magic can make an out of tune guitar sound any better. Number 7. Always choose looks over sound and playability. Always buy the blingiest, flashiest guitar that you can. Fancy inlays, gold, glitter, the more the better. It will make sure that people know how good a guitarist you actually are. And if your guitar is pretty boring looking, you can always jazz it up by painting it a funky colour or covering it in stickers. Now there's nothing wrong with a bit of tasteful bling on a guitar, just make sure that you're not sacrificing good tone and playability for sparkly inlays, a funky colour or eye-catching graphic. A lot of really cheap acoustics are finished in bright colours or heavy lacquers to disguise the poor quality finish of the woods, but this also really affects the tone. A lot of better quality acoustics only have a very thin layer of lacquer which allows the woods to resonate even more, delivering a much more complex tone. And if you really care about the sound of your guitar, definitely don't cover it in stickers like that idiot Sam suggested, as this will only stiffen up the top and stifle your guitar's natural voice. Number eight, does your acoustic guitar need to have a pickup? To be honest, it doesn't really matter. If you buy a guitar without a pickup and want to play it at a gig, that's a sound man's problem. Anyway, if you do want to add a pickup at a later date, you can get one that just sticks onto the body of your guitar for only a couple of quid on eBay. Problem solved. Aftermarket under the saddle pickup and preamp systems are also really easy to fit. You don't need to be a professional luthier, you just need a big powerful drill, a saw and a massive hammer. Regardless of what Sam says, obviously he's a complete moron. When choosing an acoustic guitar, it's really important to consider whether you're going to want to plug into an amplifier or PA system at some point. For gigging guitarists, an electroacoustic is an absolute must, as trying to mic up an acoustic on stage can be a bit of a nightmare. An onboard pickup will deliver a consistent tone, reduces feedback issues and allows you to move around freely on stage. 
Acoustic guitars can come fitted with a few different types of pickup systems, including sound hole pickups, transducer sensors and internal microphones, but the most common type is an under the saddle piezo pickup with preamp system. Most half decent preamps feature volume and tone controls and usually have the added bonus of an onboard tuner. I've played enough gigs in my time to know how the front of house sound can change from venue to venue, so it's nice to be able to control some of the aspects of my electro tone without having to rely solely on a sound engineer. And yes, it's true there are a huge range of aftermarket pickup systems available, but they're not as simple to fit as Sam would like to think. Usually it will involve drilling or cutting a couple of holes into your brand new guitar, and if fitting an under saddle pickup, the saddle will need filing down so the guitar setup is not affected. If you're not experienced in this kind of work, I definitely recommend taking your guitar to a professional luthier. The simplest option is to make the decision whether you need onboard electrics before purchasing your guitar. Just remember though, an electroacoustic can be played acoustically at any time, you don't ever need to plug it in, but the option's always there if you need it. Number 9. Steel or nylon strings. What's the difference? Honestly, absolutely nothing. I like to mix up steel and nylon strings on my guitars, and sometimes as a special treat, I might throw on a bass guitar string as well. The truth is that any guitar string can be used on any type of guitar. All those different sets and gauges of strings that you see behind the counter of your local guitar shop are just there to help us smug sales guys feel more important when we pretend to know the difference, confusing you into buying more sets and making us more money. You couldn't be more wrong, Sam. Besides the strings themselves, the tone and playing experiences offered by steel and nylon strings are completely different. A steel strung acoustic guitar has more string tension and tends to produce a louder, brighter sound with a lot more sustain. A nylon string guitar has less string tension and produces a much mellower sound with less sustain. teachers suggest that beginners should start with a nylon string guitar as the softer strings make it easier for sensitive fingers to press down the strings and form chords. For younger children buying a half or three quarter size guitar I definitely recommend nylon strings but for teens and adults looking to start playing you should also take into account the dimensions of the neck. Most classical nylon string guitars have wider chunkier necks that can make it more challenging to form chords comfortably especially if you've got smaller hands. A well-made steel string acoustic will be set up in a way that's very comfortable for beginners to play, making it easier to form chords. The choice between steel and nylon strung really comes down to which tone you prefer and which style of music you want to play. Steel and bronze acoustic strings are available in different thicknesses, or gauges. Heavier gauge strings tend to be harder to play but deliver a louder, fuller tone. If you are struggling to play your steel strung acoustic, you can always fit a lighter gauge set of strings which should make the fretting and bending a little easier on your fingers. The tension of the strings in relation to the gauge will differ depending on the size or scale length of your guitar. The scale length is the distance between the nut and the bridge of a guitar. A shorter scale usually means there will be less string tension, so strings will feel lighter to play and easier to bend. Bear this in mind if you're buying a small, travel-sized guitar as you will usually need to fit a slightly heavier gauge of string than you'd ordinarily use on your full-sized acoustic. Finally, number 10. Always buy online without ever seeing or playing the guitar. It's always best to buy a guitar online without actually playing it, preferably on eBay from a random seller based in China with zero feedback. You don't ever need to physically see or play a guitar before you buy one. They all look, feel and sound the same. Seriously, it's amazing. You can buy a real Fender acoustic guitar on eBay for less than £100. Yes, you might have to wait a couple of weeks for delivery as it gets shipped from China, but that same guitar, if bought from a guitar shop such as Professional Music Technology in the UK, would cost well over £1,000. If it says Fender on the headstock, it must be a real Fender, right? So by buying a guitar online, you definitely always get the cheapest price, and you won't need to waste your time going into a guitar shop when you could be getting on with much more important rockstar cliches like throwing TVs out of windows or drinking until you pass out. Seriously, just ignore everything that Sam says. Good guitars aren't like mass-produced TVs or iPhones. Every single one is completely unique, even if the differences may be very subtle. 
Every single piece of wood will have a different grain, which not only affects the way it looks, but also has a knock-on effect when it comes to the guitar's tone. It's really important to try and get to play an acoustic guitar before making a purchase. You never know when you're going to pick up the perfect guitar for you. Of course, ordering online is very easy nowadays, so if you choose to go down this route, make sure to buy from an authorised dealer such as Professional Music Technology. When you buy from us, either online or in-store, you'll have the peace of mind that you're getting a genuine branded guitar. Plus, if anything does go wrong or you're unhappy with your purchase, we've got a team of experts at every one of our stores on hand to offer advice or any after-sale service that your new guitar might need. And don't forget, if you've seen it cheaper from another UK-based dealer, let us know as we'll always try and be competitive on price. So thanks for watching. That was our top 10 things not to look for when buying an acoustic guitar. Obviously these videos have been a little bit tongue in cheek, so we hope you've enjoyed watching them as much as we enjoyed making them. To see our full range of acoustic guitars, visit www.pmtonline.co.uk and follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash PMT House of Rock. Better still, pop into your local PMT. I'm the acoustic specialist at PMT Portsmouth, but there's someone like me on hand every store, seven days a week to give you any help and advice you might need. So make sure to follow your local PMT on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with all the latest products, special offers, news and events. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this. I'm Sam. I'm Meg. And we'll see you next time.